What's going on everyone? It's Abdali here bringing you guys another tips and tricks tutorial video for Animal Crossing New Horizons on Nintendo Switch. Today's video is showcasing all 17 of these spooky items within the Halloween set. Some of them are going to be DIYs and some of them are going to be gifts that are given to you outright. Let's jump into it. It's a super fun time now that the fall update is here. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys have not already hit that subscribe button and joined up with us, please do so. We are on the road to 1 million subscribers and it would be, it would be awesome to have you. It would be a pleasure. Now, if you guys have also not seen what we put out here, we spent about five hours for the fall update discovering all the secrets and details and we have mastered it all. I made a nice bite-sized video that teaches you how to make the perfect pumpkin patch, so definitely take a look at that as well. Now on screen, you'll be able to see timestamps for every single one of the segments of this video. As usual, we respect your time. So we're going to be covering exactly how to get all these DIYs. We'll show you guys all of the items outside so that you can get a better understanding of what they all look like and how to craft them. We'll then take it a step further and show you guys all the different customization options. And then at the very end, we'll show you guys what it looks like inside the house with different lighting effects. Now let's teach you guys exactly how to get every single one of these DIY recipes cards. It's going to be relatively easy and the game makes it even easier especially on Halloween which we'll get into but by default if you guys take a look at message bottles that you find washed up ashore, if you take a look at slingshotting balloon presents out of the sky and if you go visit your villagers as they're inside their house crafting an item there's a chance that you'll get one of the 14 DIY recipes. Now, of course, if you guys have been paying attention to October, every single day in October, you want to be able to come over here to the cupboard shop uh, with Timmy and Tommy's, and you want to be able to buy one piece of candy. They only sell one at a time. So that being said, you're going to need a lot of candy in order to get the rest of the items later on, provided that you're unlucky with the random drops. Okay, so hear me out. In the future, if you go through the entire month of October and you don't have all of these DIY recipes, of course, minus the wand, um, if you don't have all these recipes, then you can use the candy in order to give the candy to the villagers on Halloween. Once you give candy to villagers on Halloween, there's a chance that they will give you the DIY recipe cards that you're actually missing. Now, if they don't give you the DIY recipe cards that you're missing, they'll possibly give you a lollipop. And if they give you a lollipop, you can give that lollipop or any leftover candy to Jack, the czar of Halloween, and he'll be able to give you even more items that way. If you give him lollipops, you'll get the more rare items, such as the DIY recipe cards that you're actually missing. The game is actually taking note of which DIY recipe cards you have already eaten, let's just say for example, so it'll give you the ones that you're missing accordingly. So that's a pretty fun way of doing it. And if you guys are running low on candy, you can use the Jack's mask or the Jack's little pumpkin mask and you could use his Jack's robe in order to go towards any of the villagers and force them to give you candy instead of the other way around. So you're just gonna be re-gifting all that candy to them in order to get those DIY recipes. Now, if you notice that your villagers aren't really receptive to that anymore, you already talked to the ones that are outside, just go inside a building really quick and come right back out and then that will reset the entire process. That'll be a way of getting an infinite amount of candy and helping you get all the DIYs that you're missing all throughout the month of October leading up to Halloween. So now that you have all the DIY recipes or at least know how to get them all, you're gonna need to learn how to get all the crafting items. And a majority of these crafting items are going to require orange pumpkins. Specifically, if you wanna craft one of each of them, you'll need over 80 orange pumpkins. So I kindly refer you guys to the 20 pumpkin facts video that I made right after reset. And it has everything you need to know about the life cycle, about the different varieties, and much, much more. So definitely take a look at that link in the description below. So now it's time for the item showcase. We're gonna give you guys a look at every single one of the items within this spooky set. It's gonna be really fun and I can't wait to show you them. And at the same time on screen, we're gonna give you guys the DIY recipes so you guys understand what exactly goes into every single one of these builds. And trust me, you're gonna need a lot of the orange pumpkins in order to make these bad boys. So start stocking up on it. All right. First up, right over here is the spooky table. It is a two by two table and you can put a whole bunch of things on top of it. It looks pretty cute. It's got the uh, little pumpkin face on it, your generic pumpkin table. Cool. All right, 
Next up on our list is going to be the pumpkin carriage. This thing is gigantic. It's got two sources of lights on it, which is really fun. And it does take the full nine squares. If you take a look uh, really close, you can turn the lights on and off of the carriage and that makes it even cooler. All right, right over here is going to be the pumpkin arch. We've seen this in the preview footage of the game, the updated trailer of the fall update. It was really interesting, and you can see the bats and the lights and all that fun stuff. At nighttime, it just looks spectacular. All right, moving down is going to be the spooky lantern set. Now, originally, I thought that this was two different items, but since they're so close together, it is obvious that that is one item there. So you can see that uh, it's a little lantern set. You can come over here, and uh, you can't really sit on it like you would think it would be like a little haystack to sit on, but... It's just like a little decoration, so kind of interesting. All right, next up over here is the Spooky Lantern, uh, the Standy Lamp. This is called the Spooky Standing Lamp. It has a couple bats on it. It's got a, a hanging little pumpkin, and if the elements are pretty windy, you'll see that thing sway from left and right. All right, next up is going to be the Spooky Scarecrow. As you can see, it looks uh, very menacing. Yeah, so yeah, watch out. He's gonna scare you away from all the crops, apparently. Uh, next over here is going to be the stack -o lantern No, I'm just kidding. They didn't name it stack -o lantern It is the spooky tower. Whoa. So it looks like there are three pumpkins on there. We've seen it in the preview videos. Kind of interesting. All right. Moving on down this way is going to be the spooky chair. Uh, yeah. It's just a chair that kind of goes with that table over there. So if you're looking at an outdoor set, craft four of these bad boys, put them around that table, and have a good time with it. Here is your insert generic pumpkin jack-o-lantern here. This is called the Spooky Lantern, and you can see that it does light up. And if you really wanted to, you can turn it off. So, kind of fun. All right, next up is the Spooky Table Setting. Uh, that's what this is right over here. You'll be able to see that there's a soda, there's like a fork and a spoon and a, a little plate. So this is something that you would put on your table. What do you know? If you have the, the Spooky Table, you could put that right on top of there. Um, this next one right on board is the the Halloween, very awesome trick or treat basket. I love this thing. This is called the Spooky Candy Set. Now you'll see that there's a caramel apple. There's also going to be like a big old lollipop in there. And this is something that you would easily put right on the outside of your house, maybe on top of like a little uh, mini table or something like that so that you can be inviting when it comes time for trick or treating. All right, next up, uh, I can't show it to you guys outdoors, but we'll show it to you guys on the inside. And that is going to be the Spooky Garden. Garland. All right, the DIY is right on top over here. It's very inexpensive to craft, so make those and hang them all around your entire house. Uh, next up, right over here, is going to be your spooky flooring. This is exactly what I got from the villagers. I did not get a DIY recipe for this one, nor did I get a DIY recipe for the spooky wall or the spooky rug which is kind of weird. I mean, you'd think you'd get that stuff, but anyway. Uh, next up is going to be the pumpkin wand. If you like changing your outfits and you're looking for a brand new wand, what do you know? The pumpkin wand is here. So very exciting for that. And then last but not least, we have the spooky fence. Now the spooky fence is pretty easy, simp simply because it's in the shape of a pumpkin and you can easily craft those and you can, they actually look really good. They do, like I would honestly put this up somewhere where I needed like a wrought iron fencing. The The pumpkin design is very, very subtle and it's not really like super Halloween-y if you think about it. So anyway, that's pretty great. These are all the items in the spooky set. So excited for it. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to put them all back in my pocket and we're gonna go visit the customization options. And once we visit the customization options, we'll see exactly what we can do with all the different colored pumpkins that we've been growing thanks to our pumpkin tutorial. So let's jump on over there. All right, so here we are at the crafting table. It is now time to go through and find out what customization options every single one of these items has. And let me tell you, you guys are gonna be very, very, very happy at this. A lot of them have customizations. This is great, this is exactly what we wanted. This is the expectation going forward. So, developers at Nintendo, we need more like this. Every time we come out with a brand new item, give us about three or four customizations. Thanks very much. All right. 
So we'll start right over here with the spooky garland. Uh, we can see over here that the idea of customizing all of the pumpkin and spooky furniture will require the different colorations of pumpkins. So if you guys have not seen the pumpkin video that I just made, make sure you check that out so you know how to get the, the rare pumpkins a lot quicker. So monochrome looks really cool with the white pumpkins. You got the green ones with the little green uh, thing and the yellow one looks a little rainbow colored and then orange looks pretty generic Halloween. So that's great. Uh, next over here is going to be the Spooky Lantern. Uh, you can see your generic jack-o'-lantern. You can see that you've got a little bit of a lazier face with the yellow one. Uh, you've got a happier face with the green one. And the white one looks kind of worried. All right. Well, not bad. I, I think that's really cool. All right. Spooky Chair is a little pumpkin stool. You can see orange over here, yellow, green, and white. So really nothing too crazy about that. This is the Spooky Table Setting. You'll see the bat straw. Uh, it looks like some sort of little cup. Um, yeah, you're just going to be changing out the colorations. And the face. If you take a look at the face, too, this is like a sad yellow plate. This is like a happy green pumpkin plate. And then this is like a cool, laid back, almost looks like Boo from Nintendo. Uh, so that looks really awesome. Uh, Boo from Nintendo or Boo from Mario series. All right, spooky candy set right over here. You can see that it has a little lollipop. It's got a cupcake with a witch's hat on it, and it's got a caramel apple. Uh, moving on over here, the caramel apple turns into a little bat versus a ghost in the yellow customization. You've got a little lattice, I don't know, like icing on top of it over here in the green customization. And then you have the mummy customization on this. Oh, and the little pail looks really sad. Whoa, that was really cool. I like that a lot. They, it, it's not just like swapping colors. They're actually taking a step further and changing out the designs. Anyway, let's take a look at Spooky Tower. Spooky Tower over here, you got three basic stack of lanterns. Uh, right over on board, Spooky Tower Yellow has the bigger eyes and some worried ones. Um, these also look kind of worried and a little menacing. And the white ones, yeah, a little mixture of all of them. So I'm, I'm very happy about Spooky Tower. That's great. Uh, next over here is Spooky Scarecrow. Spooky Scarecrow is orange and, uh, yeah, orange black. Uh, you can see over here he's got a little white scarf if you do the yellow customization. You have the green scarf with the green customization. And this, like, dude, I'm telling you, monochrome is my favorite coloration out of all of these things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab a whole bunch of uh, the white pumpkins and I'm going to bury those and I'm going to start watering them because the monochrome just looks too good. All right. Next up, right over here, Spooky Standing Lamp. Um, thing that didn't, uh, yeah, Spooky Standing Lamp. Let's do that. Uh, spooky Standing Lamp, you've got a worried little pumpkin, and on the on the back of it, oh, yeah. Oh, that's so interesting. So it's a two-faced pumpkin, depending on which way you're looking at it. So if, you're, if it's leaning towards the right, you'll be able to see that it's a kind of a sad pumpkin, and if it's leaning towards the left, it's like a menacing pumpkin. That's kind of cool. Uh, and then right over here, they seem to be kind of the same faces, a little smiley. Uh, right over here, you'll see some different green pumpkins, and then monochrome. You have that nice, lazy, laid-back face, which is what I'm all about, so dang. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, Spooky Lantern set. Let's take a look at that right now. Spooky Lantern set is going to be the hay little stack right next to it. You've got orange, you got yellow, you've got the green, and then you've got that lazy with the black and white pumpkin, so I like that a lot. I think monochrome is a clear winner here. A spooky table, uh, you've got a table that just changes colors. Nothing too special about that. They didn't change the face on top of the table, but that's okay. I'm happy with everything else. And then of course we have the spooky carriage, which is uh, something that I've shown in another video where you can see all the different colorations of that. And you're gonna need a lot more pumpkins. The customization is about seven of these. So anyway, now that I have all of these in my pocket right now, I'm gonna head over to my house and then I'm going to, uh, yeah, we're gonna go put them all together and then I'll give you guys the grand unveiling of what it all looks like inside of a house and we'll dim the lights and I'll show you guys exactly what that is and it's gonna be super fun. Okay, ladies and gents, are you guys ready for the grand reveal? I'm very, very proud with how this turned out over here. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you guys absolutely use some of the design aesthetics in your houses when you get all these items thanks to this video. Here we go, ladies and gents, I bring you all of these spooky items within your house. And I even left the cockroach. That cockroach right over there, I left him there because I felt, you know what? It would be really ominous to uh, 
fit the mood, you know what I mean? So this is what exactly is going on here. As we can see, all of the items are on board, and I even sprinkled in two extra items that are not necessarily part of the pumpkin set or the spooky set, but we'll show you guys exactly how to get those on another episode. So, as you can see here, everything is on board. Now, one of the things that I did want to show you guys is exactly the wallpaper. Uh, the wallpaper looks exactly like this. You've got some... Um, yeah, all the, all the faces, right? You've got the little happy one, you've got the mischievous one, you've got the sad one, you've got the sleepy one. They're all here, along with some bats and some interesting striped walls. So I like that a lot. You'll also notice that this is the rug. This is the specific rug that's involved, and it has a lot of Jack um, jumping on board. It seems like there's even a baby Jack? Uh, I don't know, maybe when, that was, when he was a kid or something? Ah, oh, the roach! Yikes! Okay. Oh my gosh, he's crawling all over my bare feet. I'm so actually afraid. Um, one of the other things that I do want to highlight is the flooring as well. The flooring is more along the lines of a wooden plank flooring, or it looks like a, almost like a wooden tile flooring. It has uh, some different pumpkin faces all the way around on the bottom, so you'll see that. It's not really that crazy or spooky, but it's more wooden, if anything. All right, well, let's take a look around the room, shall we? All right, so first thing in the corner, obviously addressing the um, the elephant in the room, is this gigantic uh, carriage, right? So the carriage is here, like I showed you guys earlier, you can turn on and turn off the light, and you can change it whatever color you want. Um, I went and uh, made some scarecrows. So we have the regular black scarecrow over here, and then I made the little lazy white scarecrow on board. So that looks really good. Now, as far as Jack... Uh, goes you can see like there's a little board that kind of like goes through him That's simply because we took Jack's robe and Jack's little mask And I put Jack's mask on top of the wall and then I made his robe right over there So it kind of looks like he's here So I made him the focal point of the room and I gave him a nice little purple uh, floor light in order to accentuate that So those things I'm gonna make another video on all the different costumes and everything like that So stay tuned for it. All right um, right over here uh, in the corner, we have the little uh, lantern set. Looks really cute. This is the arch, as we can see right over there. The arch is awesome. Nice lights. Uh, right on top of the arch is going to be the garland. You can see that over that away. Uh, we'll see the your generic jack-o'-lantern here. We'll also see the little wand. We'll see the stack of lanterns. And then, of course, we've got a little bit of a seating spot here where you've got a drink. You've got your little uh, spot to sit down. And then you also have your trick-or-treat candy right in the corner. And, of course, um, one of the other things that I did want to show you that we do have... Oh, no. Oh, sorry. Everyone say goodbye to that little roach. He was actually a prop that I wanted in here, but I I can't help but stand and walk. I wanted to show this off, that the, the lanterns that are hanging actually have the dual faces. So you can see this one right over here has the sad looking face. This one has the mischievous one tooth face. So looks really good. I like this a lot. I like how it turned out. I love the focal point of Jack being in the middle, but the real magic comes when you turn off the lights. So get ready. Here we go. Ooh, don't get too scared. Rah. All right. Hit the lights. Boom. So that's exactly what we're looking like over here. So even at nighttime, you can see Jack over there as the focal point with the light just kind of accentuating him. I love this so much. So the carriage, you can kind of turn off and on the light. You can, uh, yeah, just kind of look around and see what's up. Jack's got his two little minions over there, his little servants to get him some candy. And just overall, the room looks really good. So yeah, let me know, guys. Let me know what you guys think of it. Honestly, I'm so happy for it. I think that this is a very cool time of the year. The event was great. I don't know how it ranks compared to Bunny Day, but it's definitely up there. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys learned a little bit more about all of the Halloween and spooky DIY items and how to get them. I want to see all of your pictures sent to me on Twitter. Please make little landscapes, make like housescapes. Send me all your pictures of all the Halloween decor decorations, and I want to enjoy that stuff because this is actually really fun. So, anyway. Thanks for being here, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for watching all the other videos in the Tips and Tricks playlist, which you can find right over here. Remember, I mentioned a couple videos in here that uh, are going to be specific. One of them being exactly how to plant all the pumpkins optimally in order to plant a perfect pumpkin patch. And of course, we're gonna go through and show you guys all the different costumes and other things that you guys can get in the Halloween update. So. 
Thanks for being here. You guys are awesome. Uh, make sure you guys share this video so we get more people involved with learning exactly what you need to do before the 31st comes around. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you on the next one.